Welcome everyone. So today we are going to discuss the topic uh, Water Supply Appurtenances in 6th Module CE405 Environmental Engineering 1. So what do you mean by appurtenances? We know that in a distribution system, uh, it mainly comprises of the various pipe, pipes and the pipe networks as well as uh, a number of other uh, additional accessories which we call as the uh, appurtenances. So the main purpose of uh, Providing appurtenances in a distribution system is to allow the free flow of water and also for controlling the water flow at required uh, locations in order to prevent the leakage and various other purposes. And the distribution pipes are provided with these appurtenances or accessories in order to make the distribution of water more effective and uh, also the flow of water more easy. So, uh, what are the necessities of water supply appurtenances? So, when it comes to the necessities, we know that the main purpose of the water supply appurtenance is to make the distribution of water effective. So, the main purpose should be uh, easy flow of water and also it should be effective. And then it should also avoid the wastage of water due to any leakages or breakages in the distribution network. So, the main purpose of providing uh, the appurtenance is to prevent the leakage of water or loss of water. Then sometimes we might need to change the direction of flow in any water supply pipeline. So hence are those uh, locations where the direction of flow is to be changed. We need something to control this flow, flow direction. So then again there we need the appurtenances. Then it also makes uh, the efficient, it also enables efficient use of water then controls the flow of water in the opposite direction in a pipeline. So we can never allow water, water has to flow in one direction only, isn't it? So uh, in, when we use proper appurtenances, it is actually controlling the flow of water in the opposite direction and of course it regulates the flow of water. Now uh, the basic requirements of the water supply appurtenances are that it should be uh, durable, it should be strong, of course it should be economical and um, it should be resistance to corrosion in any form it should no it should not be the material should be such that it should not corrode uh, due to the presence of moisture it should be it should have sufficient resistance to corrosion then of course it should have uh, sufficient resistance against the internal pressure of water so water flows with the pressure so the appurtenance should not fail or we must say that uh, it should have uh, proper or sufficient resistance to the internal pressure that is in, in the inside the pipeline. Then it should be easy to remove as well as to repair and um, it should not be affected by any sort of chemicals or acids. So these are the requirements. Now coming to the you know, types of appurtenances, valves are actually uh, one of the most important types of appurtenance that is used in the distribution system. So these are actually mechanical devices which is used to control the uh, water flow and also the pressure of water uh, inside the uh, distribution system or the distribution network. So uh, there are various functions for the valves uh, based on the types of valve. Firstly, it is mainly used for the uh, stopping uh, as well as the starting of the flow of water. And also it is used to control the flow that is to reduce the speed uh, or in, of course, in case if needed in, in order to increase the flow rate. So these are the functions and it also uh, controls the direction of the flow. So if we need to change the direction then of course we use valves. Then it regulates the flow or the process uh, pressure, the flow process pressure and um, this is, these are the various functions of the valves. Now coming to the types of valves. Um, Depending upon the different situations and the requirements, there are different types of valves that are used in the water supply system. So these are the different types. The sluice valve or which is, which is also called as the stop valve. Then we have the check valve which is called as the reflex valve. Then the air relief valve or also called as the float valve. Then the drain valve or blow offs. Then zero velocity valve, score valve the ball valve, the fire hydrants. So these are the different types of valves that are normally used in a distribution system. So coming to the sluice valve which is also called as the stop valve. So they are also sometimes they are also called as the gate valves and these are uh, actually used to control the flow in a pipeline. 
so whenever there is a repair uh, there is a case where a repair is needed the valve uh, will close the supply of water beyond the valve in the pipeline and usually it is made of cast iron uh, which has a brass or stainless steel mounting at the end uh, which is fitted with the pipe then there is a circular wedge shaped disc that is at attached to the end of a, a threaded uh, stem or a spindle which passes through uh, that passes through a gland and this is connected to a handle by means of a threaded spindle and uh, the main purpose of this valve is to control or regulate the flow that is about a sluice valve or a stop valve or it is also called as a gate valve now again uh, these valves are uh, uh, they are actually cheaper and offers less resistance to the flow of water uh, and uh, the entire supply system is divided into blocks by providing these valves at uh, definite locations or at appropriate places um, so this is about the stop valve now coming to the next type that is the check valve so uh, the check valve uh, there are of two types that is the swing check valve and the lift check valve so check valves are uh, also called as a non return valves and a reflex valve uh, is an automatic device which will allow the water to go uh, only in one direction and the swing type of reflex valve is widely used in practice so uh, and also when the water moves in the direction of uh, the arrow as shown in this figure like this when the water moves in the direction of the arrow the valve will swing or rotate around the pivot and it is kept in open position due to the pressure of water so when the water uh, flow of uh, like that is when the flow of water uh, in this direction will end or cease the water will try to flow in a backward direction and this valve uh, press, uh, prevents the passage of water also in the reverse direction it will prevent the flow of water in the opposite direction so that's about the check valve or the reflex valve now coming to the next type that is a air relief valve or the float valve so this is a, a, a typical air relief valve which is also called as a float valve so uh actually in long pipelines the air will accumulate at uh, some points of the line which will interact with the uh, flow of water the streamline flow of water and at such points what happens is the air valves will be provided which will remove the accumulated air automatically and this valve has one or two hollow float chambers and this is mainly used for removing the entrapped air or the accumulated air Uh, also the air valve will consists of it consists of a cast iron chamber float then there will be a lever and a poppet valve as shown in this figure and um, again in this case the chamber may be in any shape it can be circular or it may be rectangular and uh, it is a poppet valve which is a valve that is lifted uh, bodily as you see in the figure now coming to the next one that is a drain uh, blow drain valve or it is also called as a blow offs as you see here so they are also called a wash out valves and uh, these are actually provided at the dead ends and also uh, at depressions of the pipelines mainly to drain out the waste water and uh, they are actually operated by the hand manually operated valves now coming to the zero velocity valve zero val velocity valves are al also called as water hammer arrester and the main principle behind the design of this valve is to arrest the moving that is the water as the water uh, moves forward uh, what happens is uh, this valve uh, will arrest the forward moving water column at a zero momentum that is when its velocity is zero and before uh, any return velocity is established that is why it is called as a zero velocity valve and the main advantages of this valve is that now it um, controlled closing characteristics and also low loss of head due to the uh, design that it's provided that the stream the design is in a streamlined design so these are the advantages of a zero velocity valve and of course the score valve uh, we have the score valves they are similar to the blow off valves and um, they are in uh, in fact ordinary valves which are again operated manually and it is uh, usually provided at every depression in in a pipeline and uh, the mud and the sludge gets collected in the pipes at the depressions we know that whenever there is a depression in the pipeline the debris will get collected there so which will uh, generally occur when the pipe will, uh, especially when it crosses a valley etc so this valve uh, will will be mounted on a branch of the main pipeline at the lowest point 
and uh, as we operate this valve it will remove the dirt because of the high velocity of water and after the complete removal of the silt the valve will be further closed. Now coming to the next type that is a ball valve. So ball valve is actually a quarter turn rotational motion valve which will use a ball shaped disc to stop or start the flow. So if the valve is opened the ball uh, will rotate to a point where the hole through the ball will be in line with the uh, valve body inlet and the outlet. So this is a this figure represents a ball valve. Now coming to the fire hydrants, we know that fire uh, hydrants are very important in any building. So uh, actually a hydrant uh, is an uh, which it is actually an outlet which is provided in the water pipe for tapping the water uh, which is which may be needed. We have studied the fire demand isn't it. So this is actually an outlet that is provided inside a pipeline in order to store water or tap water uh, and which may be used in case of a fire and they are actually located uh, at a spacing of 100 to 150 meters apart the roads and also at uh, road junctions and uh, mainly there are two types of uh, fire hydrants the flush hydrant and the post hydrant. Now the requirements of a good fire hydrant is that it should be cheap, uh, it should be easy to connect it with a motor pump or a hose, it should be easily detachable and reliable and it should function properly and should not go out of order due to, during any operation. So especially in the event of a fire it should, uh, it should function, if it does not function then it does not serve the purpose. Then it should uh, permit undisturbed flow of water whenever it is being fully opened. And again another important appurtenance in water supply scheme are the water meters. So these are actually used to determine the quantity of water that flows through pipes uh, and uh, that is why we install the water meters. And the readings that are obtained from the uh, water meter will help to work out the quantity of water uh, that is being supplied and also the consumers may be charged based on the reading of the water meter. So these are actually installed uh, uh, especially to supply of the water to the households, then some industries or some business establishments and metering also prevents the wastage of the purified water. So whenever somebody, something is charged then they, the people will start using it uh, without wasting it. So this process of metering usually helps in um, preventing the wastage. And of course the requirements of a good meter are that it should not offer any resistance to the flow of water and it should be able to measure the discharge uh, accurately you say up to 2 percentage accuracy and all its parts should be of non-corrosive alloy and um, it should be easily maintained and repaired should be economical uh, then it should be capable of registering any small quantity of flow uh, and of course uh, the meters, water meters may be classified into two types the positive displacement type of uh, meters and the velocity meters. So these are the uh, different types of uh, Upper pipe appurtenances that are usually used in a water distribution system. Thank you.